Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to my Florida drive-by. Um, it's uh, May 7th, 2016. I'm going to be getting on the I-75 and I'm going to be going towards Tampa, Florida. And uh, like I said, I do service work, so I get out on the road all the time and uh, I, I've got to do some service work in uh, actually Tampa and i got to replace a router for a computer system. So. Um, I don't always get these late night calls, but uh, when I get late night calls, they usually pay pretty good, so I gotta go. Um, it's about, uh, what are we looking at temperature wise here? Gonna hit the button. Yeah, 56 degrees. It's a little chilly, don't forget. You know, we still got some cold night nights. They're gonna start warming up, and they are. And it's just today, it's a little, that's actually kind of chilly, 56. But, um, yeah, so, like I say, I I do uh, computer stuff. I'm a computer kind of person, so, um, you know, uh, I'm on call. I'm like a, I'm like a whore, you know. Uh, people call me for, um, you know, like, I'll work night, I work weekend, I work 24-7. Still got to work, still got to eat, guys, you know, even though I had my, my heart attack and stuff, and I got some arthritis, but I still got to work. So I'm gonna uh, go over here and get some gasoline. Then we're gonna get back on the road and we'll start our um, uh, drive-by. But I gotta gas up. It's about uh, a little over 100 miles to Tampa, Florida from where I was tonight, because I was on another service call. But uh, I gotta jump in and get my gas now. And that gas station actually is closed. That makes no sense, this, this first gas station here is closed. You, you'd think a gas station would be open a little later than that, but uh, they're, they're closed. Um, actually, yeah, uh, and really the benefits, it's great to have webcam on your, on your, you know, or something like that. I just, I, this is not a webcam. I use a Panasonic TM700. Which is a high def, uh, it's a nice camera. And I've had it for a few years and it's been banged around and I, I do most of my videos with it. I don't know what I would do without it. You know, and I got like a 64 meg uh, memory card, it has internal memory, it has zoom. Um, it's 3MOS for the uh, for the sound and everything. Carl's uh, lens, it's, it's a pretty good one. Now I'm gonna go here and get my gas. If this light turns at the right time. Gotta gas it up and then uh, get back on the road. But uh, I, I would like to say, and I guess this, this video is kind of a, a bitch your ass off video a little. It is ridiculous where, uh, you know, I'm, I'm hearing all these people, you know, and I keep going Trump and Hillary and all that. It's so stupid, these people voting for Hillary. You know, I mean, they have no sense. I mean, their head, they must have uh, brain damage a little. Uh, you know, I, I see how they're voting and it's like, oh. It, it's crazy. So we're going to continue the, and that's what our video is going to be. It'll be kind of probably a long video tonight, but it's going to be about just general things and perceptions. So I'm going to stop here and get my gas. All right, guys, we're at the gas station now, and I'm just cleaning my windshield. And let's put her in gear, get back at the road. I'll put about $14 of gas in it. it gives me about 350 miles. So I have enough now, but uh, yeah. And you had a little. Uh, my camera was a little uh, had that like tinge to it because I had a piece of paper underneath my camera, and that um, ref was reflecting from the window, so you didn't see very good there for a minute. But I like to bring it up and let's start our bitcherama here. Son of a bitch, you know. Uh, I'm really, I'm, I'm just really pissed at this whole, uh, you know this whole economy the way everything is because the thing is look um, you know we have Republicans we have Democrats we have conservatives we have everything you know and it seems a lot of the young people like the Bernie Sanders but he's still a Democrat he's still for gun control you know maybe he would make a good uh, president but I am when I weigh the issues that face society and face me okay as a gun owner you know as a Second Amendment person I want somebody that's going to be representative in Washington of what I believe. And I just think uh, the Democrats are not representative. Well, we're at a light right now. 
so we're gonna wait at this light here until it turns damn thing come on turn okay uh, they're just not representative of what I believe and isn't that what it's all about you know people want to be representative from their beliefs and I understand you know some Democrats you know might hate guns and you want them all banned so they're not going to vote for of course you know the people that I'm going to vote for and I can understand that okay I hear that but the problem is let's logically look at this situation let's just logically look at it um, and I've always for gun control or anything grenade control or knife control I've looked at look at look at the person if it's a mentally defective person committing the crimes you try to limit them from getting it right what is the best way for a mentally defective person to limit them from getting anything dangerous well it depends on what they're getting if they're going to the store and buying a knife well you're not going to limit anybody from buying a knife because there's <laughs> using to cut your potatoes in the kitchen now if it's a gun we have background checks and the government does not report these people that are mentally defective they don't report it to the National Instant uh, Criminal Background Check they, they don't report it to them so then those people do not show up on uh, as you know criminally not not able to own a gun it'll show if you get arrested it'll show if uh, you got you got a misdemeanor it'll show if you got a felony it'll show that and it doesn't even have to be a barring felony it'll come up it'll show it uh, you know it, it'll first show that but it won't show if somebody's mentally defective and then you know a psychiatric that maybe wanted to kill somebody but you know it doesn't show that and it makes no it makes no goddamn sense on earth why the stupid idiotics, you know, crap is like this. It's ridiculous. And, you know, I normally don't swear on any of my videos, and I'm going to try not to do it today. But, you know, goddamn, that's about as tough as I'm going to get, rather than saying the F word. Uh, it is ridiculous. And myself, I would rather have somebody run the country that's a businessman than somebody who's not. Because the United States is a business. It's, it's like a big corporation. Okay. There's budgets, there's there's other things, there's things going on, you know, and we need somebody that will be able to interface with um, foreign companies, uh, business people, senators, everything. And Trump, I really believe, has what it takes. Because he's a, he's a self-made millionaire, billionaire rather, sorry. Uh, Hillary Clinton's a millionaire, right? Because uh, she's got all the money from Clinton and all those uh, uh, things where they donate money and all those campaigns and things like this. So she's a millionaire anyway. So anybody that says, oh, well, uh, you know, I'm not going to vote for Trump because he's a rich white cat. Well, Hillary Clinton's a rich white woman cat. So it, it makes no difference. A millionaire and a billionaire. I'd rather take the billionaire. Uh, you know, they've investigated him and... He doesn't have anything to hide. He's a self-made man, and he's got some really strong opinions, which I agree on. And I'll bring up the opinions that I believe really are the backbone of the country. Number one, he wants to prevent illegal immigration. He wants to stop all our jobs going overseas. Companies find them for leaving the country and uh, going cheaper in other places. He wants... Uh, Second Amendment, he believes in that. Free speech, he believes in that 100%. Uh, he believes in family. He believes in religion. Uh, you know, I mean, those are very important things for the backbone of the country. And a lot of people, yes, a lot of, you know, maybe people that aren't illegal immigrants might not agree with him. Some black people, some women, stuff like that, some Puerto Rican, some Mexican, some white people even. But you know, the problem is, those people got to realize they have rights too. And if they lose their rights and their constitutional rights and their Second Amendment, what are they going to do then? Then it's even worse. Then it's even worse. And, you know, mainly, I guess I'm talking about really the Second Amendment and guns. I feel very strongly about that. But there's a lot of other things that I mentioned that he's for, which really would help the environment and the, uh, you know, the whole economy. So, you know, there's more than one. It's the whole ball of wax. But, 
I really think people are kind of they get they get blinders on their eyes and they get gun shy. Don't get gun shy, guys. Don't get gun shy, voters. And also, this is a call out to people that are watching this damn video. Join the NRA. If you're a gun owner, join. Join. You really need it. And that was great. There, there was a few people that did join, and uh, that was great. You guys, I think you guys are fantastic. Um, thanks for joining. But people should join. Uh, you know, and you know, just just protect your rights because once they're gone, guys, it's gone. I mean, uh, you can get for the price of a, a good fish dinner, you can join the NRA. You get free magazines every month, tons of literature. Uh, you can get involved. You can be, you know, get in events and different things like that, and you can become proactive. If you're in Southern Florida, you can actually uh, canvas, hand out literature. You can go to the gun shows, get it for free, and hand out literature and information. Uh, if you get back to me, I can I can get you some information on uh, doing that in Southern Florida. But you know, there's a lot of things you can do. Uh, you know, I, I'm not really, you know. I get busy sometimes, but I still go, and I've gone to a few gun shows. I've handed out literature. Uh, you know, I don't want no money for it. You know, I'm just doing it because that's something I believe in, and I really think everybody find your cause because if you find your cause and what you really like, you'll excel in it. But you know, thanks a lot, guys, and it's, it's just so stupid and ridiculous. These people, uh, their, their attitude. You know, uh, at, at all at all costs, Hillary Clinton should not be president. She's not fit to be uh, president. She's just like my uh, veterinarian over there, Dr. Groves. He's not fit to be a veterinarian. She's not fit to be a president. Okay. So thanks a lot, guys, for turning in uh, and uh, you know tuning in rather to my drive-by video. Uh, you know, it's about. 12:47 a.m. Saturday morning right now, and uh, I got a little ways to go, another hour to go. But time goes fast and only goes forward; it never goes backwards. So, what's in front of me now will be behind me. Live in the time, live in the moment. Take it easy. God bless everybody.